Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com and today I'm going to show you how to antique shiny brass. I am going to introduce you to maybe a new product in your DIY arsenal and this is one that I would use um, if you really want some good antiquing look on something instead of just gold spray paint. So I'll talk a little more about that in a moment. But I wanted to introduce you to a product called Rub and Buff. Now I'm going to give you a link and it gives you a set of five of these little tubes and they all have a little bit different, a little bit different undertone to them. So for instance, and I'll show you a really great guide um, that Jenna Sue made on her blog. There is the Autumn Gold, which is the most tricky. It, it's more of a rose gold or maybe like a little copper in it. So if that's the look you're going for, go with the Autumn Gold. And then there's three golds in between it. We're going to use one of those today. The, the other one on the other end of the spectrum is called Antique Gold, and that one has a little more of a bronzy look to it. So I think it's good to have the full set, then it gives you options with your projects. And you can see how little these tubes are. I was, I'm really impressed with how little you have to use on a project. I'm going to use European Gold for today's project. The other one would be Gold Leaf that I think is really good. It's a little bit softer. This technique is really good for smaller projects, like detailed, like you can add a strip around the edge of say a nightstand, like just make a nice gold edge. The options when you want to turn something a different metallic are pretty much gold leafing, which has kind of a flaky look to it when it's all done, and usually really shiny. And then you can always spray paint, but it's a very even look. If you want like all the textures and patina, this is the one I would use. And it's sort of a waxy product. You put it on and then um, it dries immediately and then you can buff it. So that's why it's called Rub and Buff. So for today's project, I'm going to change this, I think it was a $10 picture light that I got at Ikea. I'm gonna change this brass to an antique brass. The other terms you will hear it, I'll show you like a collection of different metallic finishes, but you'll hear or brushed brass. I pretty much just call it antique brass. So we're gonna uh, make this a little bit more timeless instead of more of the maybe 80s look. Even if you just wanted to make it a super like soft sort of um, mid-century satiny gold, you would just use the rub and buff, and it's as simple as just applying it with a rag. But I'm gonna show you a little bit more of an artistic finish. This technique is really perfect for changing um, hardware. So knobs and hooks, this is great. Uh, picture frames, all that kind of stuff. This is a great product to have on hand. I think it gets a little tricky when you're trying to do doorknobs or faucets just because they just get so much wear and tear. So I haven't tried it, but I have heard that if you want to do it, you need to really rough up the surface with some steel wool and maybe even like put a finishing coat on the, the top part. If you guys have experienced this process with faucets or doorknobs and you have feedback for me, let me know in the comments. I'm really interested. You can also buy these in colors. I really like the metallic look. You can buy them in turquoise and black and red. But from what I've seen of reviews, the colors don't do well. They just kind of like have this kind of watery smeared look, which is doesn't look, I mean, it just looks like a DIY fail a lot of times. So I would stay away from the colors and the black. All right, there are two very important steps to this process. The first thing we need to do is get a black base coat on our product. I really love oil rubbed bronze and Rust-Oleum is my favorite paint brand. Um, just because you can get it, the 2X has the primer in it. So I have a little bit left in this can. We're going to go ahead and spray my picture light with this antique bronze, and it takes like 20 minutes to dry. If you cannot disassemble your lamp, you're going to take some frog tape or masking tape and just tape off the part that you don't want to paint. And I just take a razor blade and can shape it to whatever shape I need the tape to be. This light is nice because I can take it all apart. So we're gonna take this outside, give it a shot of black paint, and then I'll meet you back in here in a moment. All 
All right, I have spray painted my lamp pieces and I didn't even do that good of a job. I flipped it over before it dried and wanted to get the inside. I ran out of paint as I was doing this which be encouraged, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do a black undercoat. Imperfection is fine, okay? So that's number one that is really important to do is that black undercoat. The second step is how you apply the rub and buff. Now for some projects, you can just use a, a gloved finger or a rag. Some people will use a paintbrush. For this, you need to use an actual makeup brush. Okay, so this is my old foundation brush. Kind of stiff, but also soft. So what you're going for and we're going to use European gold so so it comes with a sealed top and we're just gonna poke a hole in it with the lid and a little goes a long way okay so you can always add more which you can't take off so we'll just put a little little bit on there okay and we're just gonna tap it into place and they may want to do two coats we'll just see And to clean this up, you're gonna wanna use mineral spirits or paint thinner. I mean, it gets on your skin and it's, it's not going anywhere, it's like a gold ink. Okay, and yeah, that's a little bit blotchy for me. I didn't want it to look like leopard spots. I'm gonna do a second coat. All right, we are done. We're gonna go put it down in my fireside room. This is what the finished look looks like. Hopefully you have a new product that you're interested in trying. It also would be good for dipped dipping legs and furniture dipping legs and you just add the gold put some tape around the legs and add that gold rub and buff the other place i would use it is to touch up nails or or uh, screws you know if you are hanging a hook and you put those little caps over them or, or you want to like change the screws to look gold that would be great just dab it on there and and now you've got a lot more options with your decorating so before you you leave be sure to grab your password in the description below there's my subscriber library with a ton of different projects you can do um, it is password protected so grab that password and then you can get all kinds of projects that I've done over the years and you can get access to them all in one spot all right, if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I do post regularly and I share my DIY design advice in our vintage farm life. All right, take care. I'll talk to you soon.